Hello everyone, so in this video we're just going to be making the database and the two tables that we're going to use for our Python order a pizza program. Um, there's not going to be any Python programming in this video, so if you're already familiar with making tables and using phpMAM, then you can skip right over this. Uh, essentially we're just going to make two tables. The first one's going to be a pizza type, and it's going to have an ID and the pizza type, just two columns. And the second table is going to have four columns, and it's going to be like a pizza toppings table. And we'll have toppings like the sauce, the cheese, maybe the uh, veggies and the meat. Um, I'm going to be using XAMPP uh, to run my phpMyAdmin on a MariaDB uh, database here. And you have to have Apache and MySQL running to view it through this local host uh, phpMyAdmin. If you don't have XAMPP, it's super easy to get. You just can Google XAMPP and it's the first one here. And you could install it for whichever operating system that you have and sort of follow the defaults. Once you've done that, you can access the control panel. I can just type in XAMPP and you can see XAMPP control panel. So that's what you're kind of looking for with this. You start up uh, both of these services here and then you can just type in localhost forward slash phpMyAdmin and it'll take you right here. So that's sort of where you need to be. So let's get started by making a new database and we can call it Pizza Python. So that's what the database is going to be called. And inside of this database, we're going to have tables that is going to store the data. So this first one, we can have our first uh, uh, table we call pizza types. And we're going to say it only has two columns and we're going to hit go. And that's going to create, uh, we're going to create the columns now. Now, <clears throat> uh, for the first one, we can have a type ID. And again, it can be an int with maybe we can say 11 characters and we can make it auto incrementing because that'll be the primary key. And then that'll be it for that one. Um, and then again, we can make uh, uh, the second column is the column for the pizza types. And that can be a var char. We'll make it 25 characters and that will be it for that one. So I get this strange error when I hit save. Uh, you'll probably see it here yeah and i don't really know what is going on with those errors it doesn't seem to affect my php miami but if anybody does know please let me know what's going on with that uh, but uh, we'll just continue on with this so there's our first table and the reason i'm making you know a pizza and an id is because you know lots of databases you'll have these two elements and when we get along into making objects for this program i want to I want to be able to put both the ID and the pizza type into an object, and that's how we can uh, populate the drop-down list. And it's kind of something I feel that happens often, so and it's a good way to kind of show the benefit of having objects. But we'll get to that uh, probably in the next tutorial here. So we need to make one more table, and that's for the pizza toppings. So we can just go to our database and create a new table. And this one will be the pizza toppings table. And we're actually gonna to wanna to add one more column here. So essentially, um, this uh, these pizza toppings can have both, uh, a, so we're gonna foreign key reference, or in other words, connect this table to the primary key in the other table. And then we could also give this table a primary key as well. Um, sure, why don't we do that? Because it's you know, we'll just do that. So this will be the, I guess, the pizza uh, topping ID. Yeah, and then it can be an int and 11. And we'll make this auto incrementing because this will be this table's for uh, primary key. And then we're gonna wanna connect it to the um, type ID. So we can just call this one type ID and we'll connect it in um, after making the table. So this will be an int. Again, we can call it, make it 11. So then we're going to actually have our, our columns here for the rest of our table. Um, and what did I say it was going to be? We're going to have sauce. And this can be a var char, maybe 55. And then we're going to have maybe the type of meat. I'll keep it consistent with lowercase since that's what I've been doing. Okay, 55. Uh, and then we can have, let's say, the cheese. And again, that'll be a varchar, 55. 55 is probably a lot for just a name. 
but I need to make one more column here so we can just go up here and you can just hit go to add another column. So we've got this sauce, the meat, the cheese, and we want maybe the veggies. Let's say veggies, and this will be a var char. And I'll just keep it consistent. This probably could have been like 15 or something though, but just in case there's some really big names. Um, and there we go. So we've got this table all complete. So I guess there is actually one more column here for this table, uh, or two more, not just the sauces, but the primary key and the foreign key reference there. So we'll hit save save and I'm probably going to get all those errors again again I really don't know what's going on here but uh, it doesn't seem to affect how this works so now we're going to want to go to what's called the relation view this is where we can make relationships um, between uh, tables uh, so uh, oops um, here so we can click uh, relation view and then the type ID um, we can create the relation with uh, pizza python. Come on a sec here, table structure. Okay, it's weird. This is not what happened last time. I did this, this relation do that. Nope. Okay, that keeps fucking up. Um. Oh. I swear I did this. Let's click on pizza types. Pizza toppings. Pizza types. Pizza toppings. And then we go to structure. We go to relation view. Okay. Okay, so now we're here. So now we've got our two tables, right? So we can go to pizza toppings. Pizza types, sorry. Okay. Okay, great. So we've created this table and now we can see that we've got our two tables. We've got our pizza types and we've got our pizza toppings. And uh, if we go to this structure here, we can go to relation view. And this will be our, where we can add um, the foreign key constraint. So phpMyAdmin will fill this daemon itself for us. Um, so we can just add a column and we want to um, say that the type ID and then we're going to say the database is pizza python and which table well this is the pizza toppings table so we want to connect it to the pizza types table and you can see it already auto detected type id and we can leave on delete and uh, on update restricted uh that's not super necessary for this simple example we'll leave it to that for now uh, it doesn't really affect us here um and then we just have to hit save okay so there we go so now all we have to do is go back to browse. So now we can start inserting data into these tables. So uh, we can start by um, inserting data into the pizza types probably. That would make sense, so we can insert. And uh, we don't have to input anything into the type ID because it's auto incrementing. So we can just put in a, a pizza type here. So our first pizza, we could just have a standard cheese pizza. And then our second pizza could be maybe a deluxe pizza. So then we'll hit go and insert those. And uh, let's check to make sure if we're, yep, there we go. So you can see it auto, automatically auto incremented those. And let's add two more pizzas here. So we can insert uh, maybe a pepperoni pizza. Um, let's make sure I'm spelling. Okay, there we go pepperoni pizza okay so for these next um pizzas we can maybe have a pepperoni pizza pepperoni and also let's see uh let's go with maybe like a barbecue chicken pizza as well all right so then we can go Oh, okay, we probably, did I insert two? Oh, good, let's check to see if both went there. Great, so we've got our four pizzas. So now we can go to the pizza toppings and uh, we can start inserting the types of toppings associated with this. So if we go to insert, and um, so what we can see here now 
is the pizza topping ID is going to be auto incremented, but the type ID, because we made it a foreign key con constraint, we can actually just select from a drop down. So for our cheese pizza, uh, the sauce for the cheese pizza could be maybe tomato. Um, the meat, of course, would be none. And the cheese type, um, what type of cheese should we say? Maybe mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, mozzarella, I believe that's how you spell it. And veggies, uh, of course, there's going to be none. It's just going to be pizza, uh, cheese pizza. So <laughs> that's pretty plain pizza, I guess, right there. Um, type ID for this one. So we just did cheese. We can do deluxe. So the sauce for deluxe could be, why don't we make this one? We could make it tomato, I guess. How about we make it like uh, donaire sauce or something? Yeah, just to mix it up a bit. Donaire, okay. And the meat, uh, we could say pork or something. And the cheese here, maybe this one's just cheddar. And then let's see, veggies. What type of veggies should we put on a on a deluxe pizza? Um, cheddar is actually spelled with an A, is it? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, cheddar. Let's go with onions. Okay. We can hit go. So there we go. If we browse this here, we can see... Yeah, so we can see that the, this pizza type 1 and pizza type 2 have uh, these uh, pizzas, uh, so, uh, toppings on them. But we got two more pizzas to go, so let's continue to add these in. Uh, let's go with our pepperoni. So this one could be, let's go with tomato. Um, pepperoni can have pepperoni on it. And this one can be mozzarella again. And maybe some veggies for this one. Mm, let's say none, because it's just going to be a pepperoni pizza. And then finally, barbecue chicken. We could say um, BBQ sauce and ch chicken, obviously. Uh, this one can be cheddar again. <laughs> Not very creative with my pizza making. And let's go with, did I say onions last time? Well, let's go with onions, because those taste good. So we will hit go again. And now let's browse our table here. And there we go. So now we've got our um, our toppings completed. And if we hover over our type IDs, we can see what type of pizza this is associated with. And those are our two tables. So in our next video, we're going to basically take these tables and take the data from these tables that we've made uh, and populate the drop-down list. And then probably in a future video, then we'll populate the table once you've selected a pizza from the drop-down list. So if you like the content that you're seeing here, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.